Hello guys, welcome back, it's Adam. And in this episode, we'll learn about very cool service of Azure called Azure Advisor. Stay tuned. Today we will only focus on Azure Advisor, so it will be a fairly quick episode. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So what is Azure Advisor? In order to talk about Azure Advisor, let's picture a scenario. Typically, when building solutions in Azure, we will have multiple services. Services like SQL databases, web services or virtual machines. And all of those services have to be set up by someone, our developers, administrators, operation teams, or just external vendors. But the only problem with this approach is that none of us are experts when it comes to all of Azure services. So it's very easy to miss some critical configuration that might impact your application or entire platform. And here comes Azure Advisor. It's a service that was created to continuously scan those services for all of the improvements according to Microsoft best practices. Because as you can imagine, if you are just starting with Azure, Microsoft might have some good tips for you that will improve how your application works and how you operate your entire Azure platform. And the recommendations that you can get are around cost of your Azure resources, their performance, reliability, security, and lastly, operational excellence. And all of those recommendations are then provided to either admins or developers. You can even set up some alerts to get automatically notified when there are new recommendations. Let me show you how Azure Advisor works. There are multiple ways to find Azure Advisor, either by using search box at the top, or going to the left-hand side menu to Advisor, or to All Services and find it in the Features section, and simply open it. When you open Azure Advisor, you will be presented with a dashboard showing you all the recommendations for your services in Azure. In here, you have all the recommendations for cost, security, reliability, operational excellence, and performance. Currently, the only recommendations that I have are around reliability. So let me open this tab. In here, I see that I have three recommendations around my Azure resources. I can check their impact. All of them are currently set to medium. I can then check the description provided for each recommendation. For example, enable virtual machine backup to protect your data from corruption or accidental deletion. Potential benefit, improve data resilience and performance. And it's currently impacting only one virtual machine. One of the coolest things about Advisor is that I can act on this recommendation directly from this panel. I don't have to go research how to do that. I can just open this recommendation and either postpone it or click on the recommended actions to enable virtual machine backup right here and right now. Now press on the recommended action and enable backups for this virtual machine by using Recovery Services Vault service in Azure. You can either use existing or provide a name like AZ900 Recovery Services Vault to create new one. Select the resource group where the service will be provisioned and select the policy. For me, daily policy to backup my virtual machine every day is fine. So I just press on enable backup and that's it. In one minute, I was able to protect my virtual machine. Now I can navigate back to advisor to check the other recommendations. This time let's use enable soft delete to protect your blob data. When I open this recommendation, I will see that there are five storage accounts that are currently impacted. I can either select some of those and I can either dismiss or postpone the actions if I don't want to act upon them right now. Or instead I can just remediate some of those. For example, for the first one, I can open it, select turn on soft delete for blobs, keep the policy for seven days and save it. If I want to, I can also enable versioning and then hit save. And again, in just a couple of seconds, we were able to protect our data from accidental deletion. And it was that quick using Azure Advisor recommendations. Let's go back to Azure Advisor. Lastly, in the cases where you don't agree with recommendation or you have a specific use case where you don't want to apply this recommendation and you don't want to be nagged about it, you can simply open this, select the recommendation and hit dismiss. It will instantly disappear from the recommendations for Azure Advisor. To summarize, Azure Advisor is our personalized consultant service in Azure, which is designed to provide us recommendations and best practices for cost, so things like SKU sizes for our resources, so we can downscale and save some money, idle services that can be deleted, or services where we can reserve the instances for longer periods to save a lot of money. Or recommendations around security, so things like multi-factor authentication settings for our users. There are also recommendations around reliability. Previously, this was called high availability, 
but this is now not only about keeping the application up and running, but also protecting our data. Additionally, we get recommendations around performance, again, SKU sizes, but in this case, should we scale up our applications in order to get better performance? Should we upgrade SDK versions if we are using the old ones? And lastly, there are recommendations around operational excellence. For example, are there any subscription limits that we're about to hit? Are there any service health statuses that we should know about that might impact our application uptime? Additionally, Azure Advisor comes with those actionable recommendations. As we have seen in the Azure portal, it is very easy to apply those recommendations directly from Azure Advisor. And lastly, all of that is free. So if you're using Azure platform, if you use Azure services, you get all of those recommendations for free, which is very cool. All of the materials for this episode can be found on my website under episode 20. And that's it when it comes to Azure Advisor. In the next episode, we'll focus on the networking security with security groups. If you want to follow to the next one, simply hit icon on the side or follow the playlist. If you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. And see you in the next one.